I think something has arrived. How does he look? Does he look good? I think it looks good. Sony's FV1 set up right now on my tripod with a softbox light to my left and a little ring light just dim on the right hand side. I'm pretty impressed. I've literally just got it out of the box. Set it up. I've not really done too much. I've just played about with some of the settings. I've got a background defocus on which looks great and yeah like everything just looks really great. I've got a flip screen on the Sony's FV1 so you can actually pull it out and see yourself while you're recording. Yeah, I think this looks great. The only thing that I've had to do out of the box is just charge the battery that it came with. Um, I also ordered like three extra batteries, so I've charged all them, so they're all good to go. Right, I'm gonna do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison with the Sony ZV-1 and the iPhone. Um, I currently have an iPhone 11, I don't have a 12 Pro X or whatever the newest version is, because the Sony ZV-1 is supposed to be perfect for vlogging, um, perfect for just whipping it out of your pocket and just like snapping some photos and videos like on the go. That's why a lot of people vlog on their iPhone because it's just in your pocket anyway. You can grab it out of your pocket and take videos and stuff on the go. Whereas this camera is purpose built for purely that. It's tiny, it's only small, but I tell you what, it packs a punch. It's really practical, really easy to use. I've been surprised uh, for me, like I'm a person that isn't really too experienced with like top high level cameras. Some of the menus and the settings and stuff can be a bit mind boggling if you don't really know what you're doing. The Sony's FV1 has really simple menus, really simple settings. It is all pretty much self-explanatory. Right, I think it's about time that I take this camera outside. I've got the dog sitting down here in front of me giving me the puppy eyes. He wants a walk. So let's take him with us and let's get some shots and let's see what this thing can do. So we're straight out of the bag here, testing the Sony's MV1. Um, I've got the dead cat on the top, uh, so that should muffle any sort of wind that's going on with the dog. Just taking him out into the woods and just, just having a little play with the camera and see what we can do with this thing. I want to test this button out. This is the defocus button. So if you look at my face here, the background should be clear. And in the background now it should be blurry. Don't know if you're noticing a difference here. That's clear, that's defocus. So that just makes it look a bit cleaner and you can get that sort of look that you want with that nice sort of blurry black ground while you're vlogging. And one thing I've noticed with this camera so far is um, the wide angle. It's not a very wide lens. So like right now, this is about comfortable for me to hold, which is quite close. Whereas you kind of want to be out there, but I'm really having to stretch my arm to, to get it to that point. I love this blurry background, it's looking really nice. And I can see a little square on my eye, which you won't be able to see in the video, but that's just tracking my eye and just making sure I stay in focus. It's really good at staying in focus, this camera. One of the things that I've actually noticed about this camera um, is the actual like colors. They look really good on this camera. Um, just straight out of the box, I've not messed with any settings or anything like that, like aperture ISO, like I've barely touched anything really and it looks clean. Like the colours look really good. Um, I don't know if you can tell as well, it has like a skin uh, smoothing feature, which I'm not sure whether I'll be using that. It's probably more for like teenage girls and stuff. Maybe putting stuff up on their uh, beauty makeup tutorial Instagrams and YouTubes and stuff, probably more for that. I don't know, maybe generalizing, but I don't think I'll be using that too much, but it's a nice feature to have. Another thing I'm really liking about this so far, I've been outside walking the dog for about half an hour, 40 minutes now. And uh, when I read online about the Sony's FV1, the only thing I was sort of wary of was the battery life. Apparently the battery life was supposed to be really bad um, and last about maybe 45 minutes. But to be honest, I've been out for about that long and I'm still on three full bars of battery. I think the dog approves. Don't you, Alfie? Do you approve? He's not asked. Let's take this thing back to the office and see how it looks. And we're back. That camera is something special. I really, really like it. This is literally my first 24 hours with this camera. 
super easy to use, super compact. As you can see, I use some high shutter speed in some of the shots to get a nice slow motion effect, which most compact cameras are not able to do. The Sony's MV1 stands out because of that. Um, it's one of the reasons that I chose to buy it because if I'm working with clients I can take it out and I can take some nice slow-mo shots of any products and stuff that they're trying to sell and also one thing I forgot to mention with this camera that I've not really tested out is product showcase mode so I've currently just turned on product showcase mode so you should be able to see that if I hold something in front of my face for example my iPhone it latches onto that and then latches back onto my face pretty quickly. Um, now, in most cameras, you have to hold whatever product you're showcasing in front of your face because it has a face detection system so that it wants to focus on a face that's in the shot. Whereas this will focus on anything that's in the foreground. So if I sit over on this side, if I hold up my phone here, it should focus on that and then back to my face. And I don't have to hold it in front of my face, which is really, really good. Um, and it's super quick as well, like, look how fast that is. That is some fast focus. Um, so if you're a YouTuber that does a lot of product reviews for either camera gear or whatever you're reviewing really, this camera is perfect for that because most cameras take quite a while to latch on focus to a product and then back to your face, whereas this is just it's instantaneous. So that's a real plus in my book. But yeah, my first 24 hours with this Sony ZV-1 camera, I'm very, very happy with it. I'm very excited to see what other features it's got, what I can discover with this camera. I'm actually taking it on a shoot today in Leeds City Centre. So we'll see what actual footage I can get on a proper shoot today. I'm really excited to take this thing out again and, and try out some new features. I might do another review of this camera a few months down the line once I've had a little bit more time to play around with it and really see what its capabilities are. But yeah, first 24 hours, a thumbs up from me. I love this camera so far and I'm really excited to continue using it. But on that note, that concludes today's video. Thank you very much for clicking on and watching it. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.